Welcome to my channel. The Last Battle. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Since the unveiling of Russia's D-14 Armada in 2015, which is considered one of just three fourth-generation battle tanks in service anywhere in the world, Russian media outlets and officials have highlighted a number of the vehicle's features which are considered particularly revolutionary. The D-14 is currently in production alongside the lighter T-90M, which entered service in 2020 and integrates many of the same technologies onto a lighter and more conservative platform. The D-14 is a higher-end and more costly tank which is seen to have considerable potential for modernization, with its chassis also used as the basis for the T-15 personnel carrier. Alongside a very high degree of armor protection, the tank has gained considerable attention for housing all three crew side by side in an armored central compartment controlling all features electronically, something rival tank producers have yet to mirror in their own designs. The tank's main armament the 2A82 1M 125mm smoothbore cannon is thought by many analysts to be the most powerful tank gun in the world, but the D-14's large size allows it to accommodate much larger munitions with the possibility of using a 152mm cannon, and possibly a larger one still, having been repeatedly raised. In response to the advanced armor used by the Soviet tanks during the Cold War, which proved almost impossible to penetrate for some of the most advanced U.S. and British M60 and Chieftain tanks during mass tank battles of the Iran-Iraq War. The U.S. has since the waning years of the Soviet era relied on use of depleted uranium rounds to provide its own anti-tank weapons, including the 120mm main cannons on its M1 Abrams tanks, with a greater penetrative capability against enemy armor. Although such weapons have never been tested against tanks built for the Soviet military or the Warsaw Pact, if you want to watch more interesting and educational videos subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.